What's going on, people? Let's talk about social media, right? Now, it's not an easy thing for a lot of people for a lot of different reasons, right? And it's not like for every person they all have this the same bunch of problems. Sometimes it's just like the one thing or the this thing, maybe a couple, you know, you mix and match, whatever. Because you have like some people, right? It might be a matter of just you just kind of are trying to fit in and it's just not quite taken, you know, maybe you're buying into whatever it is you think you need to buy into, right? Or maybe you are just generally, genuinely, excuse me, being yourself and it's just kind of like you feel like you're just overlooked and not really a part of the conversation, right? It happens. You also have some people who maybe they aren't overlooked and they're very much a part of the conversation and they can't quite take the feedback they're getting, you know? I get it, it the world out there. There are some people who just will say some crazy things and not everybody can just like let it roll off of them, right? There is that. And you also have some people out there that are much like myself that just aren't social people, right? But it just kind of makes sense to be in the social media realms to some extent, you know? And now I'm going to talk about some other things along with that or whatever, but some of this might come off like negative or maybe even bitter sounding or whatever. I recognize that like there are some good things to it because there's some people out there that are using it in some ways that make sense, right? So case in point, like the friends over at Sneaker Hearts, right? So they're doing some pretty good things and they're using that, the social media world, to get the word out there and let them know like, hey, we're out here giving clothes and shoes to homeless kids and stuff around Chicago or whatever, right? which is a cool thing to do, but then the social media helps them gain traction and you know, yada, yada, yada. So in that case, it makes perfect sense, right? But from my perspective, that's what I'm more so talking about because you know, I mean, this is like my video, right? So I guess it's more social media for like anti-social people because that's kind of like the category that I come from. So here's the thing, right? Now I've been on the social mediums before, right? Before the whole YouTube thing kicked off. You know, I had like my personal like Instagram thing, but it's like me and like a couple dozen people that I know, you know, just you're, you're just not really interacting a whole lot. It's just like something interesting might pass by. Oh, that's something. Right. And then there was I also had like the Facebook thing going on. There was that. I mean, I guess the account is still technically active, but it's not used because I guess there's a fourth reason that social media can be hard for people. Maybe you just don't care about stuff. Right. And no offense to anybody, but like that's kind of what drove me away from the Facebook thing in the first place was I would get on there and it's just like, I don't care about your barbecue. I don't care about your baby. I don't care about this truck that you bought. Like, you know, I'm just scrolling through and it's just like, and then I'm still thinking like, maybe I'm the problem. Is that possible? I mean, it is right. It very much is. But at the same time, I was just like, you know what, if I'm not getting anything out of this, and it's just kind of wasting my time as I scroll through for several minutes, hoping to find something interesting. Maybe I'll just stop doing that. So that's kind of what happened there. But either way, past that, talking about things as they are in this time frame, right? As in 2024, January 21st, which is actually the uh, birthday of this YouTube channel right here. But either way, so for me, right, when I look at the social media stuff, it's hard because I'm just, I don't consider myself a social person, right? When I walk into a room, I don't think, how can I get everyone in here to notice me and like me and want to talk to me? I walk in and I think, hmm, how long do I have to be in here? Where's like the least populated area of this room over there? Yeah, let's go over there. Let's all by an exit, so that's helpful. You know, like, I, that's just kind of where my mind is, right? Don't get me wrong, like if I have like a small group of friends or whatever, yeah, I can hang out and do the whole thing because it's fun then. But like sometimes when there's just too many people and they're coming from all these angles and I'm just like, it's a bit much, right? So for me, I sit here, I do the YouTube thing, right? And so it kind of made sense to have like a little Instagram thing, maybe a little Twitter thing or whatever. And so I do that or did that and still doing that, whatever you want to say to go along with that because it kind of helps it can't help get the word out. Is it required? It is definitely not required, right? If you're good enough at the thing you do, you can do it right here and the word of mouth will help you spread that to everybody else, right? Think about any movie you've heard of but never saw a trailer for, or any game you've played but never got the demo for. I don't even know if people still play demos or whatever, but you know, in my mind, you still get like 
demo discs from Pizza Hut, right? Because that's how I got Tony Hawk and it's really stuck in my mind for like the last 20 something years. But either way, right? So I'm on, I'm on here, on the YouTube stuff. I'm like, okay, let's set up an Instagram account, you know? And I was doing that, you know, interacting with people, meeting new people, whatever, kind of helps grow your social network, obviously, right? But the thing is, like, you can attract more people also when you're doing that, because some people, they just, they don't really care about you, which is fine. They just care about the things that you're showing off, right? And so then you, you got like an extra crowd on top of like the crowd that actually matters. No offense, but I'm just saying that is what it is. And so then you have to deal with all that. And I'm just like, uh, this is, this is not ideal, right? Because it's just not. I'm not going to get into it and I want to sit here and act like I'm just like looking down on people. But truth be told, like, I don't like to interact with a lot of people. So like if they're friends of mine or like, you know, all that stuff, cool, no problem. And newer people, I'm not going to completely shut them out. Anybody can become your next best friend. That's a very known fact. But it's just up front, I just kind of don't want any conversation. So when they come in and they're like talking to me, I'm like, I'll give them whatever response makes sense. But unless they say something interesting or thought provoking or entertaining, it's just kind of like pick any random reply that I give to people and I'm going to give you this one. I'm going to say, oh, word. Oh, cool. Okay. That's how it happens sometimes. You know, things that just don't mean anything, right? And so over time, I just kind of got like less and less engaging on that level, right? Because I'm like, I don't really need to be here. So I'm just, and I'm like not wanting to. So I'm just going to kind of not. I still do it once in a while, right? But I'm like super bad and if you're one of my Instagram people you've probably seen like for every few comments that I get like I respond to like mostly none of them honestly every I think I, the last video I did I responded to those but like the previous handful before that I just like eh, time would pass and I'm like ah, I'm just not going to like they don't they're, they're not saying anything they need to reply to anyway it's not an actual question it's fine right so don't take it personally. It's just kind of one of those things. Sometimes it's like a matter of fairness. I'm like, okay, well this person, I didn't respond to them. So I don't want to respond to this person because then it looks like favoritism. Though there sometimes is, I at least don't want to like throw it out there, you know, at least try to be semi nice. So then also on the YouTube thing, it comes into the same light, right? So you put this out there and this is a very much public platform or whatever. Videos like this won't hit so many eyes, but you throw in some gratitude 11 video now everybody and their mother wants to come and talk to you or at least talk in general and one thing i will say quick side note like when it comes to comments i always took them mentally as somebody is getting on this video to say something to you but it seems like there are a lot of people that just get on there and like say stuff hoping that someone else will see their question and ask and give them an answer to it or they're just like talking out loud or like they, they act like the comment goes to somebody else like this guy seems weird like what's off with him it's like i mean like are you so you're not asking me but you're talking to me like i'm not here i don't know it's weird to me but either way so on the youtube thing i get all the comments there you know and i try to respond to them only because if i don't when i go into the, the youtube studio thing then they just all bundle up there and it's just like a whole bunch of nonsense and so i just like respond like quickly so that they just go away. But again, what it all comes down to is I just, I'm out here living this like semi-public life or whatever. And there's parts of it that are cool. I've met some very cool people out there. So that's why I'm not going to stop doing it, right? I just obviously have some things that I'm not thrilled about with it. And I think a lot of people would feel the same way. You know, if you see the value in something, even though you also see some other stuff that kind of brings down that little property value, you're like, well, this is worthwhile enough that it's going to keep me here, right? So it is what it is. I just kind of bring up some stuff that I don't like every so often. Try to present it in a way that makes it sound like hopefully I don't come off super bitter because it's not that serious. Honestly, like if I don't like it, I just kind of like back away and then go do something else. Take a little break for a while, right? It's a thing that people should do once in a while. But either way, just wrapping this whole little ramble up. Social media, it is not for everybody. It's not really for me, right? Which is why I 
present myself in the way I present myself, right? Which is like an authentic thing. There's no front there. I'm just largely uninterested in a lot of things that are happening, right? So I just kind of like jump in, say some stuff or like post a picture and mild word, slow or low word in captions, you know, like where you don't have to read too much because I've noticed when I do type a lot, nobody reads it anyway. So it's just, they just click the little likes thing, you know? But that's me, like, I'm not out there trying to like gain any notoriety or anything. I don't need that. I'm not one of the people like some out there where their self-worth is somehow tied directly to the number of thumbs upses and heartses and all that stuff that they receive on a daily basis. That's not keeping me alive. What keeps me alive is I guess like blood and like a heart and some lungs, normal human stuff, right? You know, Captain Crunch, that's a big part of it, honestly, too. But either way, that's going to be mostly it for me. Just kind of saying some thoughts. From me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I actually do have some shoe content that might be coming. I mean, I ordered a pair of Ultra Boost lights, so because I've been wanting to see what those are like, and there was a pair that was like $80, so I'm like, well, that seems like trial price to me, right? There were some better colors out there, so, you know, it is what it is, but I always understand how I feel about them, then share those thoughts with people out there. So that is going to be it for me. I don't have anything else to say. So have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. That's going to be it for me. Didn't I just say that? Whatever. I don't know. Later, people.